4.2 kills per set for Alexis Shelton, second in the SEC, fourth, like you said, in D1. She had 11 kills in the uh, sweep that OU suffered to UCSB on Friday. Both of these teams suffered sweeps at the hands of the Gauchos in this tournament. This is also the battle of the brothers. I'm gonna call this the battle of brotherly love, shall we, Nicole? Because you have on one side for Oklahoma, Aaron Mansfield, who is in his second season at Oklahoma. And then on the other side for Kansas State, you have Jason, the older brother of Aaron. Jason Mansfield also in his second season as the head coach. Funny enough, Nicole, these two coaches were hired like four days apart from each other. They were, and the thing they said is, this is the least favorite matchup, is going against it's each right. other, but. And we are indeed underway, and how about that? We start with a ace. Izzy Shulsheski, the setter, picking up what is a couple of aces already the last couple of matches for her. On that left pin, that's Alexis Shelton with the kill, and that evens it up one apiece. All right, back to serve now for Oklahoma, Callie Kimoa, the libero for Oklahoma. Here's Shulsheski now on that left pin, and a swing from Shaley. Myers is kept up in the air by Oklahoma. Now Shelton on the attack. Just a bit well, wide. And keep an eye on that Oklahoma block. You saw three players over there blocking on the pin. That is not something every team does. So this is gonna be a challenge for Kansas State. Liz Gregorsi, Appleton, Wisconsin native, sends it away. Out of system swing for Shelton. Point goes to Oklahoma. Side. That's a kill for Kari Geisberger, the 6'7 transfer outside from LMU, played for Coach Aaron Mansfield during his time with the LMU Lions. Yeah, nice to have her follow him there. She knows his program, the kind of culture that he likes to instill a program, and been doing a nice job of making an impact here for Oklahoma. Jasmine Ellison will check in and send one away back behind the service line. Ella Larkin with the first contact. Wilczewski tries the right side. And there is Shaley Myers. There's been a lot of moving pieces, Nicole, with this starting lineup for head coach Jason Mansfield, trying to find the right pieces in that front row. And Myers has made back-to-back -back starts now. She has. I saw her playing against UC Santa Barbara the other night. She hasn't been in exactly consistently in the lineup, but looks like for this weekend, she's really coming in hot. Shulsheski will try Aliyah Carter. That one's set right back. Now to the right side, Myers kept up in the back row. Into the middle, that is going to be a kill for Lydia Martin. 6'3", Brad, middle blocker. I am really impressed with Lydia Martin's play, although coming off a loss from Santa Barbara. Watched her match. She is getting good movement on the court. Always ready and available for that set and ready to attack. Serve goes long, first service error of the match. Gives Kansas State the 5-3 to three lead. How important is that part of the game going to be for both sides in this one, Nicole, the behind the service well, line? Yeah, as we mentioned, they both have dynamic, powerful outside pin hitters, so they've got to serve tough, try to get them out of system so they don't get those perfect sets every single time and be able to disrupt the offense. There's Alexis Shelton catching a piece of the block there. Shelton already a couple of kills in this one, make it two. And this is Shelton from the back row, wide open net. Not something you want to give her. That is for sure, she will terminate it. And there it is, Aaliyah Carter, the new all-time kills leader for Kansas State, picking up her first kill of the match. What an impressive career for her, Nicole. Oh, yes, and you can see all the teammates they're excited for, and it's a great milestone, and she's probably like, all right, cool, let's high-five it, and now let's get this victory for the team tonight. <laughs> That's right. Peyton Chamberlain 
doing the setting right now for Oklahoma. Now, she was questionable, we were told, from Aaron Mansfield, the coach for OU, coming into this match. She's been dealing with some injuries. So they have kind of gone to a two-setter system with uh, Leah wilton Leboy, who I'm sure we will see in this match. So not running a 6-2 system with two setters like Kansas State does, but they will use two setters in the match. And there you see Peyton Chamberlain back to serve it away. On that right side, that's Anaya Clinton with her first swing of the match. This one set tight to the net, and it sails long on the attack error. And you know, I know you and I, Sam, were talking earlier today, but I think this match, one of the keys is gonna come down to those errors and which team is able to keep them lower and then take those opportunities when you have them, keep the ball in or recycle it in the block to give yourself another chance to score. Already three attacking errors for Oklahoma. Taking flight, that one set back off the swing. And rolling off the top of the tape and down for a point for the Cats. Those were definitely not my favorite plays, playing, but it just uses the tape, uses the equipment against you. Here's Ella Larkin, the libero, transferred over from LSU after spending three seasons with the Tigers. Took a step back from playing on the hardwood, played a lot of beach for LSU, but now back in her home state, decided that she wanted to get back into indoor, Nicole. Well, she has done such a nice job. I covered her on the beach and was so impressed with her movement, quickness on the court. And now coming back here to indoor after a little break, she's making a huge impact here for Kansas State. Good hustle here from Larkin, trying to keep it afloat. Instead, it will fall. Oklahoma gets the point back in a side out. Well, and w keep an eye on these liberos. They are the athletes in the opposite color jersey. They will run down anything, no matter what it takes. Go into the crowd, to the fans, you name it. They are always hustling and scrapping, trying to keep those plays alive for their team. Nine to six in the early going. Remember, we play to 25. Got to win by two. Best of five sets. Shelton off the net. Looking for high hands there. Legrand sets to the middle. Good scramble play here by the Sooners, and they get a point out of it there. Shelton with her third kill of the match. And what a kill by Shelton. That set going a little bit past her, and she just takes a lean and thumb down to the sideline. She has quite a toolbox, many different options of hits that she can do. So Sooners getting a couple of points back after a 3-0 run by the Cats. Joust at the net there. Point goes to the Wildcats. Loving that Anaya Clinton coming in in the angle on that attack and turns it down the line. Oklahoma giving her that line on the block, sees it and attacks it. And again, this Oklahoma block is one of the best. So K-State really needs to figure out how to attack it, go around it, use those high hands. And so far, they're off to a great start. All right, so Legrand exits, enter Izzy Shulsheski in this 6-2 system for Kansas State. Shelton, big swing. That's already four attack errors for the Sooners, zero for Kansas State. Chamberlain tried to keep it up at the net, whistle blows, point to the Wildcats. Might have been reaching over there for Oklahoma. That serve by Shulsheski floats a bit long. Looks a little controversial from the fans considering the noise and the boo on that one, but very close. And you've got to go for it. These are tough teams. And you've got to bring your best service game. Yeah, like you said, Nicole, too, this is the last tune-up, if you will, before conference play gets underway in earnest next week for both sides. And what a welcome to the SEC that Oklahoma is going to get over the next couple of weeks, seeing a ton of top 25 teams. That's Kari Geisberger there. Yeah. 
back to serve as ace. Put in by the libero, Cali Kimoa. She's averaging three and a half digs per set, but that's her seventh ace of the year. Yeah, coach said she is just a calming influence out there on the floor. When you watch her play, it's, you don't realize like what the score is. She just keeps it calm, nice ball control, strong serve from the line. And right now, this is what Kansas State doesn't want. They cannot get on this slide right here with several points in a row. I would think maybe a timeout call up here to stop it before it gets out of control. Oklahoma riding a 4-0 run now. Big swing on the right side from Grigorski. And Liz Grigorski putting up a kill and a half for a set. Second year transfer from Wisconsin. She has played all over the floor for this team, whether it be in the back row, moving her up into the front row as well as an attacking player. She can do it all. She can. She's got good ball control. Last year, mostly playing in the defensive specialist spot. But coach said, look, she's been taking some huge swings for us, and we need her in the lineup. So now she's playing a lot more front row. And when they need it, she's coming in very strong. Helped lead the Badgers to four Big Ten championships and the program's first national title in 21. Chamberlain trying to keep that one alive, tight to the net. That one just out. Oklahoma's been behind in this set, but they've kept it close. Now the errors start to pile on for Kansas State here. Well, and that's the thing here for Kansas State. They actually are number one in digs in the Big 12, and they're getting opportunities. So I think that's what I meant with the errors. It's going to come down to are they able to capitalize on those chances and opportunities and score those points? There's Meg Brown in the solo block from Lydia Martin. Yeah, Lydia Martin does such a nice job fronting the hitter, meaning her eyes are looking where she's gonna go. You've really gotta read the setter quick, make those adjustments. She makes a step up and presses those hands over so well. 40 blocks now on the year for Martin. That leads the team. Trying to get her going a little bit more offensively. Way out of system here for Kansas State. Have to throw over a free ball here. Good chance for the Sooners. Martin in the middle, but this time it's turned away by Brown. So how about that? Brown and Martin going head to head in the middle of the floor. We are Man. just getting underway here on ESPNU. Manhattan, Kansas is loving it. Aaliyah Carter, the new all-time kills leader for the Cats. Got snubbed. Uh, Jason Mansfield made it an emphasis to try and schedule a little bit tougher this season. Now, as you know, Nicole, the schedules are put out way in advance. It just so happened that their non-conference this year was very challenging. It was, and that's what you want to do. You want to get your team prepared, even though they have kind of a losing record right now. When you look at who they've been playing, they've all been in the top 25. So he's coming in strong at that non-conference, wanting to figure out what do we need to fix now before we head into, this, into the conference play? Because it's not gonna get any easier. Let me tell you, the parity across the country, I feel like a broken record every year, but <laughs> it is even better this year when you, when you look at these different matchups. Here's Sydney Thompson checking into the game. First serve for her. Larkin first contact. Groszewski goes to the right side. Myers off the block. Well, Shaley Myers, like we said, has kind of been used in more of a reserve role for Kansas State over the last couple of years. But she was a all Big 12 rookie team honoree back in 2022. Averaging two kills per set in the early going of this season. See what Oklahoma has to answer here on the left pin. Swing for Camille Gibson, the Tennessee transfer. Shelton keeps it up. Gibson on second contact. Free ball coming for the Wildcats. Where do they go with it? Backside, Clinton with the kill. Wow, Clinton is on fire right now. They are dishing those beautiful sets up her to the back. She is coming in strong, and no one. You got one blocker there at the pin, but unstoppable. All right, timeout on the floor. Oklahoma will use their first of two. Kansas State with a three-point lead in the first.
coming to Disney Plus on September 25th. Our little girl's growing up so fast. And things couldn't be better. It's demo day! Hello, everybody. <laughs> we are just super jazzed to be here. <laughs> The program, some athletes, they might not stay. They don't know what's going to happen coaching-wise. But head to the transfer transfer portal. Get some veteran experience to come in. And they have made an impact right away for the Oklahoma Sooner, Sooners. So nice adjustment out of the timeout there to get Shelton a kill. Alexis Shelton leading all players with four kills on 11 swings here. There's Clinton, or excuse me, Carter trying the line. And she misses a bit wide, so Leah Carter, a little bit quiet to start in this first set. The leading player offensively for them, putting up almost four and a half kills per set. Only one on six swings here in the first. Yeah, right now, again, we highlighted her in the beginning of the show, Leah Carter of K-State, and hitting negative right now, so they definitely need to get her going. Get some momentum shifted there. Well, we talked about how Coach Jason Mansfield has moved into the 6-2 system. They played a 6-2 to start the season last year and then moved to a 5-1. And it was actually in this Oklahoma meeting last year that they made that change. It was a little later on in the right. season. And uh, they lost in five sets. It was reverse sweep for Oklahoma. He said he was up early in the morning, 4 a.m. the next day. They go yeah. out and play Oklahoma <laughs> in that new system, and they sweep them, 3-0. That's right. And he's, he's like, I, the, on, the only regret I have, he said, was I just didn't do it earlier. Yeah, that's right. It's, you know, making those adjustments, and when you're doing one thing one way, and you just think, okay, maybe next game it's going to click and go. But, again, like you said, he couldn't sleep that night, wakes up, makes the change, and didn't look back. Here we go, K-State coming in off the block, but... Tagging the player right back. Oklahoma getting a nice solid block up. Ava LeGrand, the second setter in this system, will tee up Gregorski, who has it sent back. Gregorski now off the net. There's that triple block, able to squeeze it through that triple block of Oklahoma. This is a very good blocking team, Nicole. They are very good. And let's take a look right here. You don't see this a lot. You see good decision here. Coming over to get that third block up. They want to get some points. They have one of the top blocking, they are Oklahoma, one of the top blocking teams in the country. Right now, Kansas State winning the serve battle. 20 to 18. What a save by Larkin. All the way across the net, Clinton, whistle blows. And the point's gonna go to Oklahoma. Yeah, in the net, but again, Larkin there flying down one arm dig to keep that ball alive. And that's why K-State is tops here in digs per set and also attacks per set because she's getting that ball up for her team and giving them those opportunities. Whitney Wallace sends it away, Larkin. LeGrand to Clinton, sent right back on K-State side. Now to the far side of the court, Grigorski with a nice up by Kimoa. Good scramble play here by the Sooners. Joust at the net. Larkin with the bump to Grigorski, looking for high hands. And the point to the Sooners, she missed him. Well, Gregorski just attacked that angle on the first one like triple blocks. No problem for me. I'll handle it. But Oklahoma keeping it alive with a little bit of a scrappy scramble play. Ends up paying off. Good and system ball here on the first contact. But again, that sooner block is there. They'll try Gregorski. This one off the top of the block. Kamoa. Shelton has it stuffed back by Meg Brown. Shelton again. There's Larkin this time. A couple of good rallies the last couple of sets, and there, kept up somehow in the back row by LeGrand. Now it's KJ with the kill out of the middle of the floor. Kelly Joe Burgess. And what perfect timing for that kill in the rally, going out to Shelton to the pin mostly. 
thinking Kansas State, they're gonna keep going there, but then that's the perfect time to set the middle, opening it up. KJ transferred over from Utah. Geisberger. To the middle, there's KJ Burgess again. Led well, the uh, Pac-12 <laughs> as a freshman in hit percentage, Nicole, so she's done it before. Oh no, she definitely has the experience. Only a sophomore, but she was Pacific South Region Freshman of the Year. She is coming in here, Burgess, one way and cranks it the other. Kansas State not ready for that heat coming in. Too much for Legrand to handle. All right, so Nicole, we talked about how we will see four setters uh, in this match, albeit different kind of styles here. We talk about the 5-1 offense versus the 6-2. What is the biggest difference between the two? What are some of the advantages and disadvantages? Well, the 6-2 offense is you're going to have two setters setting. So they will come in for the back row and play those three rotations, and then they'll swap, and then you'll have three hitters. Be a little more consistency there as they're playing the entire time. So, again, I think that... If you've got those high-level setters that can come in, take a little break, and then come back and keep setting that consistent set is really what can make the difference. The caveat to that, though, if you are going to go to a 6-2, you would like to have, obviously, two great setters, but you also need two really consistent hitters on the right side in that system. Yes, you do. You need people that can come in off the bench, ready to go, and make an impact right away on those three rotations. And they feel they have that people that can come in and score points and also put up a solid block so the sooners have come back a 4-0 run here they've taken a two-point lead but meg brown swing is into the net and that makes it a 5-0 run and against uc santa barbara versus kansas state when i was watching kansas state was actually up leading those sets and i think that's what the it came down to the errors the unforced errors that got them into trouble. Clinton stuffed at the net. There's KJ Burgess who leads this team, averaging over a block per set. Shelton was in on it as well. And it brings it to set point for the Sooners on the road. They were trailing by as many as four. They have come back and now have a four point lead. Legrand. We'll try Clinton again, just has to send one over. Good chance coming to try and clinch the first set, and they do. It's Geisberger on the right side. Oklahoma takes the opening set 25 to 20. And the battle of brotherly love, what a coaching duel we have here. And some adjustments made by Coach Aaron Mansfield to have his team come back and take the first. Best of five in the game of volleyball, but Oklahoma takes it 25-20. We'll be right back with set two in Manhattan, Kansas. Leah Carter, by the way, Nicole, just one kill on six swings in the first set. They will love to get her going, but a first ball out of system here for Kansas State. And the Sooners will pick up the first point. Yeah, they definitely need a Leah Carter in there. She's leading them with their offense. She is the number one go-to here with points and kills and hitting negative right now. I have no fear, she'll turn it around. Whitney Wallace's serve goes wide. And that's gonna be the third service error for the Sooners in this match. Well, with that angle there down the line, you can see that Oklahoma is trying to serve Aaliyah Carter as well. She's in the front row. They're gonna have to handle it. Shelton elevates. Looks like she was bouncing off a trampoline there. Well, she elevated right over the block. I mean, wow, what a leaper there. Quite a jump, waiting, strong approach. I mean, she just goes right around the block. Alexa Shelton feeling it in this one. Five kills, 15 swings. And that one is sent back. Alexa Shelton was there. Yeah, and right now having her up in the front row is huge for Oklahoma as they come out of that first set victory. Now carry that momentum and they're off to a good start. Coach Aaron Mansfield said about her, she's just a human highlight reel. Anytime That's you right. watch her, you're just getting highlights left and right. We just saw two of them. 
Nice up by Shulsheski there to keep it. Larkin feeds the right side. Slowed down by the block off the swing of Myers. Here's Shelton, blocked on that far side. It was Myers in with Meg Brown. That's a solid block. Those athletes waiting for the perfect time. Oklahoma has that out of system set. They like to set it in a little bit inside. K-State knows that, makes some good adjustments on the block. Kamoa tees up Shelton. Off high hands, nice up in the back row by Grigorski. Good chance coming here. Thought about going to the middle instead to the right side for Geisberger. They have had so many options here so far, Nicole. Well, they have, and they're getting opportunities. Kansas State had that ball come over with a perfect opportunity there to point score, but mishandled it, giving it back to Oklahoma, and that's the problem here. They're on a roll right now with those opportunities. Oklahoma's capitalizing, and that's what K-State needs to clean up right now. Off the net swing for Carter. Tight to the net, jousted, and it lands on K-State's side. Lydia Martin with the kill out of the middle. So already in the last three uh, points, we have seen Geisberger, Martin, and Shelton. I mean, you have a lot of options that you can go to for Oklahoma, and right now they're all working in this second set, getting out to a 5-2 lead. And that's what you want to see, that distribution amongst all the front row players. And that tells me one thing. They are passing well enough to set anywhere she wants. Chamberlain, Shelton, tough set there, little off balance. Here's Larkin now on second contact. Carter, let's see if they can get her going now, just her second kill of the match. Well, you can see the fire right there after Carter gets that big kill against the three-person block. I'd be pretty excited about getting it off three blocks too, but she knows we need to fire up right now, and she's the one who can change the momentum on their side right now in the front row. They need to get some points from Carter right now. Shelton got a piece of that block from Kansas State. But right now, Oklahoma not allowing Kansas State to build any sort of momentum. They are siding out at a really high rate, 63%. Little tip shot there from Carter. Now Gibson into the block of Kansas State. Wow, what a swing from Martin. Somehow Larkin was able to find it before it hit the floor. There's Larkin again, just trying to stay alive and keep the point alive. Martin squeezes that one through the block and ultimately Oklahoma wins the battle, but good effort. Yeah, Larkin is getting a lot of digs there for Kansas State, getting her hands on a lot of balls and giving them a chance to score. And I know I keep saying it, but they've got to get those points right away and not give Oklahoma two, three chances to point score because they are getting them. Service error from Shelton, the fourth of the match for the Sooners. That gives a point back to K-State. Seven to four, Oklahoma won the first, 25 to 20. Again, we play best of five. First team to win three sets takes the match. Both of these teams coming off losses as well in this K-State Invitational. UCSB swept both of these teams over the course of this weekend. Good swing off the block there from Gibson. Yeah, Gibson coming in really strong on her approach. She's got a lot of options, so keep an eye on her now that she's in the front row there. As we mentioned, transfer from Tennessee didn't appear in a match for the Volunteers, so this is really her first college action this season. Backside for Clinton, but there's that OU block. Sometimes you don't even need the triple block. You can send two out there where you got KJ Burgess. Well, yes, and OU is doing an excellent job here. Footwork, I work here from the middles coming over. Wow, look at that. Hands pressed over into the angle, making that last minute adjustment. They credit Gibson for that block. Nice swing off the net from Gregorski. 
She's a creative player for this team. Like we said, she has been in a championship program in Wisconsin. 13 kills over the last two matches coming into this one. Simone Sims keeps it up for K-State in the middle of the floor. The transfer from Pepperdine, Meg Brown. Middle blocker that K-State has moved around a little bit, Nicole. Well, they have, and she is a huge recruit for them. She was a four-year starter at Pepperdine in middle blocker. Actually, Coach Jason Mansfield told us she's been playing opposite a little bit, but I noticed the last two games she's back in the middle. And you can see she's doing a nice blocking job and attack for them on that last one. Gregorski has it sent back, Oklahoma, with seven blocks in the match. And it's resulting in points as well, which has been detrimental for Kansas State. Yeah, and that's what you'll see sometimes. I know this is kind of the last week, this is the last weekend before conference play for all these teams, but the moving parts, the different people playing, trying to figure out what position are we gonna be our strongest at? And that, you know, continues throughout the year for some programs trying to figure out who's going to make the biggest impact. Chamberlain gets to it and Shelton tees off the block there. Lexus Shelton with seven kills now to lead all players. Or excuse me, that's Camille Gibson. Gibson also now with five kills. So Oklahoma in the second set with a five point lead, 11 to six. for places you'll probably never be instead of and getting that culture piece in place when you take over a program is important and i guess uh coach aaron mansfield of oklahoma said that his brother takes recruits there and so far it's been a hundred percent there on the commitment so i guess that's the way to go that, that must be the big draw right you go to the man hatchet and all of a sudden you're committed to kansas state that's there you go that's that's a big draw so side out after the service, error there, and the ball's gonna drop in that back corner. Point well, to the Gibson suitors. There. Again, Gibson, she is really getting some nice sets up there, waiting and coming in. She's just flying high right over the block, really not having any trouble. Another player that's, that's dealt with some injuries uh, in her career. Her eight kills against UCSB Friday were the most in the match since the opener against TCU. So they're starting to utilize her a little bit more. Myers touched at the block off of Geisberger last. And that's the creativity that I'd love to see more of from Kansas State, especially with Oklahoma's big block they're putting up, is going up like you're going to attack it and then making that last minute adjustment, swiping it off the block and out of bounds for a point. Shelton. Returns the favor there on the far side off the block. Alexis Shelton with seven kills now. She has taken 24 swings in the match. We knew that would be the go-to right here, but a nice little quick set right on the seam. She comes, she's so on top of the ball, hits the top of the blocker's hands before they're able to finish it. Came into this match with 10 consecutive matches of 10 or more kills. Well on her way to accomplishing and extending that streak in this one. Meg Brown, three-time All-West Coast Conference first team member with the Waves. Back to Shelton, why not? She's got the hot hand right now, and as you mentioned, the most attempts, hitting percentage a little bit low, well, low at 125. You want to be above that 250 for the team, but eight kills leading the charge here for Oklahoma, and right now not able to be stopped. Alexis actually missed the last two matches of the 2023 season with an injury, worked incredibly hard in the offseason, and has come back, back stronger and better than ever. She's ready to lead this team in her junior year. Jolszewski 
to the left side. Carter still hasn't been able to get going. Shelton slowed down by the block of Kansas State. Here's Carter with the roll shot. And Martin to clean it up in the middle. Just hasn't felt like they've been able to put Aaliyah Carter in the best spots yet, Nicole. Yeah, right. It's not, it's the ball control. They've got to get some good passes. She's getting a lot of out of system sets, which means someone else is setting it, not always the setter, or the setter's running off the court and trying to push that ball out to her. So they really need to get in their rhythm. That starts with some good ball control. And there's a good pass right there. And there that's what you can do. There you go. When you get a pass, we call it a three. That's the best pass on the scale, meaning the setter could set three different options. So they're going to need to get that control with the passing game so they can get Aaliyah Carter going. And look at that wrist, thumb down, swing to the sideline. There was some uncertainty as to whether or not Carter was going to return. She's a fifth-year player now for this team. But uh, even she said that, you know, we had some unfinished business last year after getting left out of the tournament. Yeah, they had big wins. I remember K-State beating Texas. That's a pretty big win. A, a lot of, oh, that's, you know, just back-to-back -back <laughs> national champion. No big deal. Yeah. And again, you can tell by their non-conference schedule for K-State. They are playing several ranked teams and... Not always winning those ones, but you know what? That's how you find out what you need to improve. What are those top teams doing? And how can we go back to the gym and up our game so that we can compete? Yeah, three uh, of their first five non-conference matchups were against top 25 opponents. Well, we'll have the final game of our four WNBA playoff first round matchups tonight with game one between the Storm and the Aces. That's the 5-4 matchup, 10 Eastern time, 7 Pacific on ESPN with the uh, same best of three format as last. Sam's voice, which I know everyone <laughs> does. They can tune into that show and just keep going all day long with Sam. Much appreciated, Nicole. Yes, we do have a nice uh, WNBA wrap-up show coming up uh, in a little while. But uh, we talked earlier about Alexis Shelton, how much she means to this team productivity-wise, and she's getting it done early and often, Nicole. What are you seeing from her? Look, well, I've seen it from the front row and that last one from the back row. No matter where she is on the court, they are getting her the ball. And K-State knew they needed to have eyes on her. Where is she going to be on the court at all times? Because as you can see from those last clips, she's putting it down. But not only that, we've seen some huge blocks from her defensively. So she's really playing a nice all-around game for Oklahoma right now. A human high highlight reel with uh, eight kills on 25 swings. And this one muscled through the block from Anaya Clinton. She's a player as well, younger player, but really, really close with Aaliyah Carter. And Anaya was actually the player that took credit for getting Aaliyah to come back for her fifth and final year. She said it was all me. I, I brought her back. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Maybe they went axe throwing. That's, that's exactly right. <laughs> that's what they did. Guarantee you. Bonding over axe throwing. That one dumped over the net by Peyton Chamberlain. Again, the setter for Oklahoma that's been dealing with injury. Coach uh, Aaron Mansfield told us it was a 50-50 no, shot as to whether or not we would see her play this weekend did not play against UCSB got some rest and uh, has been in both sets here for the Sooners this one drops after a joust at the net Kansas State with the point Something we have not seen yet in this match, a back row attack. But that's not really the identity of either of these two teams, especially when you're going to play in that 6-2. Clinton on the right side, dug up by Kimoa. Burgess with a big swing, but left it wide. Yeah, good connection there for Burgess, but just a little bit too wide, as you mentioned, but I like the middles. They're getting them going. We saw Martin getting some big swings earlier, and now Burgess, so they're really trying to mix it up and not just rely on Shelton to get the kills. See Aaron Mansfield talking to, uh, talking to his team 
Alexis Shelton, Camille Gibson, you know, two players on the outside that are also incredibly close. But you talk about building a program, Nicole, and both of the brothers are having to do that in this new era of college volleyball. And you talked about it, the parody that we have already seen uh, in this season so far, even going back earlier in uh, today and the match on ABC when you see Nebraska do what they did to Louisville. That was that match was over before you even turned on your TV for a lot of people. So the parody across this sport is just insane. What what, uh, what do you attribute it to? Well, I think it all starts, you know, at the club level as well. The athletes are getting good coaching, high level play against people all over the country and you're not just seeing a couple teams like back in the day we used to see the Penn States the Stanford's winning all the championships the Texas's but top players are going all over the place right now Pitt is number one okay I just covered that match and played number three Penn State but would you ever think number one team Pitt but they have built an incredible program as these two coaches are trying to do here and one thing to do is go to the transfer portal when you take over a program you might not have as many players. You want to bring some experienced players to come in and help you get things going and build the dream that you have at these programs. And then for OU, their notable transfers and all these transfers. About it. <laughs> you know, they always say you don't want to burn bridges wherever you go because the volleyball right. community <laughs> is very, very small and very close knit. Everybody knows everybody, and you never know where a coach might end up whether it be uh, at uh, LMU or then you go to Oklahoma and, and you bring players with you. So very small community, which you can certainly speak to. That's right. And especially with the transfer portal and the, yep. the way it's set up now, it's it's true. Oklahoma gets a point out of the timeout. Kansas State out of timeouts. You get two per set. Oklahoma with one remaining. LeGrand with a nice back set there on that right side. Clinton with the uh, touch kill there. And Aliyah Clinton with five kills in the match. Well, with Aliyah Carter a little bit off right now with the offensive game, Anaya Clinton stepping it up. And that's what I think we need to keep an eye on is who's going to step it up offensively right now for K-State. And that's one way to do it with a nice ace. Take a little pressure off the team. Izzy Shulshevsky, nice hand on the ball, flat over, under, over the net. That's her second ace of the match. Kansas State with four aces in this one. Here's a little bloop serve. And Burgess trying the touch. There's Myers off one foot. Dug out by Chamberlain. Geisberger looking for the deep corner. Not able to get the floor, but uh, able to get a touch out of Larkin and get the kill. Geisberger. Now with six kills on the match, 19-15 here in the second. Geisberger with six kills, let me just tell you how many errors, zero. And that's <laughs> awesome, hitting a 667. So she is really doing some nice offensive work and moving the ball all around the court. Hand it right back though after a service error. Yeah, going back to Geisberger real quick, Coach Mansfield told us that uh, no, he's known her going back to when she was 14 years old. Obviously played for Coach Mansfield at LMU, two-time All-West Coast Conference first-team player, bringing her talents to Norman, Oklahoma. A little off balance there, and Kansas State gets, uh, gets the point off to the lift. See if the Wildcats can get a little uh, streak of points going here. Nice dig by Larkin. Sholshevsky to Carter. That's blocked right back, good coverage. Carter will try again, tips it into the block. Larkin is there. Everybody's tight at the net right now. Shelton with a swing. What a dig, and then up by Sholshevsky. Carter into that triple block. And it is set back, 20 to 17, Oklahoma. Well, and Carter used to get in all the sets, but she is getting every single out of system set, meaning it's coming from every player from K-State. So she's not getting that in system quick set that she's used to. Hitting from having that set come from behind your shoulder is not easy to do. 
Little break there for K-State as Oklahoma's in the net. A little too much press on the block. I think Shaylee Myers, number 14 right there, is someone who could get things going offensively as well for K-State. Had eight kills for Santa Barbara a couple days ago. Out of system for Shelton. Here's Myers again. Nice dig by Kimoa. And Shelton with the kill. Nine kills for Alexis Shelton on that left pin. Yeah, Shelton doing a nice job. Came in a little bit early, but actually waited at last minute, made an adjustment so she could keep the ball in front of her and get a nice swing going high off the block. This is closing time here. See if Oklahoma can close it out in a tight one. 21-18, again, we played a 25, got a win by two. Yeah, you got Carter making second contact there. In system ball, nice transition shot out of the middle for Lydia Martin. A nice pass here, and that is a beautiful set to Lydia Martin, and she goes right in the seam there of the block. K-State not able to close it. Lydia Martin had some collegiate experience this past summer with the USA team, and really, what a great confidence booster and extra training to get at that high level with the best players in the country. Chamberlain's got 25 assists already in this match. Shelton's swing slowed down by the block. Larkin with the bump to the right side, and the block of Shelton and Martin is there to stuff Myers. Well, I know Martin's getting over there on the block, but I think if we'll take a look at this replay, Shelton is the one getting this solo block right there. Right hand just closing the seam to close it next to Martin and a beautiful press. That ball is uncoverable going straight down to the floor. We talk about Alexis Shelton, what she does offensively as Oklahoma's serve goes long, but what she does on the defensive side for Oklahoma is, uh, it can't be underscored enough. No, she is really adding on all sides of the game right now and having that block and that good eye work and commitment to the block is really key and she's doing a nice job. Myers with the ace, Shaley Myers only had one ace coming into the match, picks up her second. Kansas State winning that battle right now, but they have to serve a little bit more aggressively. They've been playing from behind in these first two sets. Nice dig by Larkin. I don't know how she was able to get to that one. Chamberlain gonna try Shelton again. That set was high, but somehow Shelton able to adjust in midair and get it she to set point. She has some hang time. She's got oh. some hang time. Just hang in there waiting for it. And a power, power tip down. And Larkin's getting a nice, nice touches on the ball for K-State, but they're not going in system, those digs which is kind of throwing K-State off on their offense right now. That's a nice slide on that right side. First kill and swing of the match for McKenzie Jones, player that has not been utilized a ton, took a redshirt year last year, but been called into uh, duty with some injuries. Worth noting as well, still set point for Oklahoma. Jordan Williams, a huge player for Kansas State, not available for them. They hope to have her back uh, as conference play gets underway. Simone Sims send it, sends it away. And Kansas State trying to stay alive here in the second set. Big swing out of the middle, and Martin will give Oklahoma their second set. And a chance for Oklahoma to go for a sweep on the road over Kansas State. They take the first set 25-20, and the second set 25-21. The offense is working on all sides. Alexis Shelton leading the way with 10 kills on 30 swings. Stick around to see if the Sooners can close it out in three. A good volleyball. These conferences are top. All right, so we start the third set here in Manhattan, Kansas. Nicole Branagh, Sam Ravich, our entire crew. Saying thanks for spending some time on this fall Sunday afternoon. A great a day of volleyball that we've already seen. Top five matchup on ABC earlier today. The game of volleyball continues to grow. 
in space, and we love to see it. Off one foot, Meg Brown on the slide. Coach Mansfield told us that they've started to work her more off one foot. It's not something that they uh, use a lot of, but she did it a ton at Pepperdine. That's right, they haven't been as, as much behind the setter, more middles in front of the setter on the quick one, the gap set, but they really need to get something going, and I love that they came out right away running that slide. Service error not gonna help. Gregorski sends it long, and she will check out. Simone Sims comes back and checks into the back row for Kansas State. So K-State needs to win this set to keep this thing going. Oklahoma, if they can get to 25, win this thing by two, they would indeed have a sweep on the road. Shulshevsky chases it down. There's Myers on the far side. And Shelton. And they are setting her in rhythm in transition, Nicole. Well, they are, and that's some athleticism coming in. Just take a look, coming in, waiting on the gill cow. She gets off the net, waits for that set, comes in and inside the 10 foot line. I mean, that is not easy to do. Nonetheless, with two blockers in front of you, she is really showing her range tonight all around the court. Eleven and as you mentioned, Sam, six digs and three blocks for Shelton. Continue. Sorry, Nicole. Sorry about that. Shelton, I think the difference here between these pin hitters uh, is Shelton is getting a lot of in-system sets, meaning Oklahoma's passing well on that first contact. So she's able to get in rhythm with her setter. Tough serve there, but again, an in-system ball. Shelton couldn't get a ton behind it. Free ball coming. Into the middle, Lydia Martin. So, you know, it's kind of a pick your poison here to try and set up a block for Kansas State, right? Nicole, you can try to set it up and key in on the outside, but then you are susceptible and leaving the middle open to Myers. You can certainly try, but Chamberlain, for Oklahoma, their setter, she is doing a nice job distributing the ball to all the players right now and finding the open person, getting them those one-on-ones with the other blocker. Leah Carter finally with her first kill of this third set. Now Leah Carter did become the all-time kills leader in Kansas State history in this match, but four kills on 20 swings, now hitting a even zero right now. As they try to get her going. Here she is again, looking for the back corner, no good. I like that shot way too long, but I do like that she's going up aggressively and trying to get it to that corner pocket. That's area one on the map. We can talk about that later, but attacking all the different areas on the court. Lydia Martin sends it away. Clinton on the left pin. That drops, and a point to the Sooners, six to three. Now, uh, yeah, if you're Jason Mansfield, you don't really want to let this set get too far away from you before you use your first time out, Nicole. No, you really don't, because they're down two sets to none. They need this, mat this set to stay alive in this match, and I think right now, again, what we're seeing is it's coming down to the ball control. Oklahoma on that first contact, a little bit crisper and cleaner than K-State at the moment. Nia Clinton, one of the younger players on the team trying to fire her team up. She's leading the Wildcats with six kills. Out of system. Good. And a break for Kansas State on that one. You've got to keep that ball in. But just a little wide for Gibson. Another tough serve from Carter. Gibson this time off the block, kept up by Grigorski. And a whistle at the net violation there for Oklahoma. Point to Kansas State. So a little 3-0 run here. Ties it back up 6-all. Nice view here on our net cam. You can see when the blockers for Oklahoma come down, just touching the net.
there's Clinton. Nice up by Ellison in the back row. And the block for K-State. That's just the fourth block of the match, Nicole. If they can start slowing down these pin hitters for Oklahoma, this could be a brand new ball game. And that's right. That's what they need. Some big blocks here to get their defense going. They're getting the digs, but they haven't got a lot of block touches or straight down blocks for points. And that's a good start right there. All right, so a 4-0 scoring run as Kansas State takes their first lead, but Oklahoma takes it right back. And for Kansas State, Aaliyah Carter in the back row can set her as well on that big middle and add another hitter for them offensively. Aaliyah Carter double digit kills in 19 straight matches dating back to 2023. Has just four kills in this one. Here's Gibson off the net. Wow, what a shot. She is really painting the lines, as we say, but really using that angle well and having a lot of success. And if you notice on this out of system set, how inside Gibson comes, and that's what Oklahoma does in their out of system. They really bring those hitters on the inside, trying to disrupt the blocking scheme of Kansas State. And an ace for Chamberlain, the setter for Oklahoma. Third year as the primary setter for the Sooners team. Led the team, averaged about 10 and a half assists per set last year. We mentioned the injury bug that she's been dealing with a little bit. Here's Clinton on the right side and gets a kill. So it looks like Clinton has kind of taken over and has taken the majority of the swings right now, Nicole, as that's now 20 swings on the evening. Yeah, and I was kind of waiting and looking to see who's going to be there. Look, we're used to saying Aaliyah Carter's name a lot, right. but she's a little bit slow tonight on the kills with four. Who's going to step in and be, you know, the surrounding cast and be able to add those points on the board that they can look to if someone's having an off night? K.J. Burgess out of the middle, and Oklahoma will sub out. Neil Gibson will exit and going back to serve in the back row, Whitney Wallace, the freshman DS from California. Been one of the better players behind the service line with eight aces this year. Good first contact for K-State. There's Brown off one foot. Was looking for high hands. And she got him. And that's what K-State needs right now. That slide going to Brown, and she is connecting. We saw one early in the set as well. But the offense from Kansas State Wildcats mostly has been in front of the setter. So getting that connection in the back is going to be crucial here to try to pull off this third set victory. That one was just pushed to the floor almost by Shelton there. That's been a point of emphasis this year, Nicole. The uh, referees are, are looking at it. We saw a, a good example of one that was in the match earlier today on ABC. That's right. Uh, that yeah. one not called. Well, and that's the referee's discretion to decide if it's too much hand on it or kind of uh, how much you do. But that one was clean. Chamberlain on the back side. There is Geisberger with a cross-court kill. Kari Geisberger continues to be a force on that right pin. Nice high hands dig, and you can see around the block, not even near it. She just goes angle off that outside hand. Sholseski has to go way back to get it. Nice roll shot. Good coverage, though, by Oklahoma. Larkin with second contact. Myers, perfectly placed ball. There we go, Kansas State getting that opportunity with the free ball over the net and Meyer able to connect. Started off with a back row set to Carter. Roll shot, get Oklahoma in trouble. And Meyer comes in big. Again, not her hardest hit we've seen all night, but it doesn't always have to be. Good placement. 
I was going to ask you, Nicole, like, how would you go about attacking this triple block? Because it is a little bit of an unusual thing that you, you don't see a ton, but you saw Myers add a little bit more touch to that shot instead of trying to power it through. Yeah, I mean, it's not always about your hardest hit and power. You've got to make the right decision with the set you're getting, where you are on the court, and what you're able to do. So taking a little bit off of it and finding that open spot, because we've got a triple block. There's going to be some area of the court that's left vulnerable. That's now the ninth service error in this match for Oklahoma. That has uh, kept Kansas yeah, State in this in this thing a little bit. That's right. They've got nine service errors for Oklahoma and only two aces. Whereas Kansas State, strong from the service line with five aces and only two errors. So they're definitely winning that battle, and there they go again. Yeah. It's the point scoring battle here for Kansas State. I think that's been the theme is too low when they're getting those chances, not able to capitalize. Off the top of the tape, it's kept up by Oklahoma. Kansas State was just as surprised as everybody else was that that ball was still off the floor. Here's Shulsheski, nice set to Carter and the kill. Well, you can hear the crowd. They know they need that. What a beautiful play here. All started. Well, look at that one. One-handed with Lydia Martin ready to go for that short little pancake, as we call it, when you throw the hand over under and just pops the ball right up. Meg Brown has had the hot hand behind the service line here, but finally a side out. Alexis Shelton, who else to get the serve back for the Sooners, make it 13 kills now for Alexis Shelton, a junior out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And Shelton moves to the back row, but don't worry, they can always set her. Very deadly from there as well. Oh, and a dump perfectly timed for Shulsheski. Well, and I love this right now for Kansas State. Look, they're trying to, they're finding other ways to score besides from Aaliyah Carter, and it's paying off. Little deception there for the setter from Kansas State. Now checks out for her counterpart, Ava Legrand, in the 6-2. And a tip shot for Camille Gibson gets Oklahoma to 15 points first here in this third set. Oklahoma leads it two sets to nil. Kansas State needs to come back to keep this thing going. Both of the brothers were not really super stoked about playing against each other. They were like, yeah, I don't know. It's not my favorite match of the year because they both want each other to succeed. They both follow each other's programs they throughout do. the entire season. So I got to imagine emotionally this is a little bit difficult. I would think so. Yeah, they both said when I'm not coaching, I'm watching my brother's team and cheering them on. So this match is a tough one. But one thing they both said in our calls this week is how much respect and love yeah. and just how proud they are of each of them and what they've accomplished. And, you know, for Aaron Mansfield, Oklahoma, he said, look, my brother Jason, he is ready for this, for that head right. coaching position. He's been an assistant for 23 years. So ready for this next step up and take over a program. 16 to 15 here in the third set. Oklahoma leads it two sets to nil. And Kansas State, a little bit lucky there. Miscommunication at the net for Oklahoma. Now, just to finish off on, on this kind of matchup here, these two programs have met every year since 1975. We talked about the conference realignment, how, well, they, that, that may end. But both the Mansfield brothers said, in some capacity, we will keep this relationship going between these two schools, whether it be exhibition matches, non-conference, like they were determined to make sure that this matchup does not go away, which was encouraging to hear. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I think it's great for the athletes. They can even go there next year and see how it goes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Maybe some more ax throwing in Manhattan as well. All over the place. <laughs> LeGrand to the right pin, and there's Clinton. So that's another ball to Clinton. Puts her in a perfect window to succeed. Yeah, Carter there on the pass, taking it to her left, and just enough pop on it to get a good set off it to Clinton. She's really stepping it up here, leading with 10 kills. She's doing a nice job. 
keeping K-State in this one. On the overpass, and it is slammed to the floor by Meg Brown. Look here, Meg Brown following the ball, just ready. Gathers, get those arms up and straight down. Just a little angle on it to keep it away from the defender there. Yeah, that's just when you get some momentum, Nicole, and then you, you give the serve right back. Nobody's been able I to know. get on a, a roll here. Yeah, Kansas State seems right now, though that missed serve, they've got some th good things going for them right now that we haven't seen them do in set one and two. And I like that they're coming out strong after that intermission. Made some changes. Although Massive a huge block, block there. by Shelton. Again, not only offensive, but defensive. But looks a little confused. I don't know if what the call is. And well, the net was moving a little bit. Okay, so the, the, the point was given to Kansas State, it appears, Nicole. Oklahoma's going to challenge this. Now, that block sent the ball back and in play on Kansas State's side. So we'll have to see what the uh, challenge exactly is. Wow, look how high and elevated they are on that block. Doesn't look like a touch at yeah. all on the top of the tape, if that's what we're going for here. Hard to see when Shelton landed as she's off the camera, but. It's like point for Oklahoma. Okay, so yes, the point does go to Oklahoma and that changes. So 19-18 Oklahoma make it 20 to 18 now. And Okay, so we're getting now confirmation from our great producer, Thomas Morrissey. It was originally ruled out, uh, and then that's why Oklahoma challenged, won the challenge. Ball was uh, ruled in, and now I was just going to ask you, when does that first timeout come out of the back pocket of Jason Mansfield? And we have our answer here as Oklahoma first to 20 in the third set. Yeah, Kansas State playing a lot better this set from what, you know, working on that slide back with Meg Brown. Leah Carter getting going a little bit from the outside more, passing well, but this is, we played a 25, and Kansas State needs to win this set, so got to stop right now. You don't want them, you don't want Oklahoma to get a few points in a row here. You've got to nip it right now, and then get that momentum back on your side. Anaya Clinton for Kansas State doing an excellent job leading with 10 kills. And again, having some good supportive players here, as usually Carter's leading the charge. Uh, on the other side for Oklahoma, Nicole, you talk about how Peyton Chamberlain was able to set up her hitters. Well, yeah, she set them up pretty well, and she's sharing the wealth. It's not just these two, but these two have led the way for OU. They have, and Shelton getting the most attempts at the moment. But you know what? Sutter is finding the right hitter at the right time, and I think that's been crucial, the distribution top of it offensively. All right, so Oklahoma five points away from a sweep on the road of Kansas State. The question is, can Kansas State make a push here and try to force this thing at least into the fourth and then, you know, try to get on a roll? But right now, Oklahoma, in the back and forth battle, they're winning it. That might be a net violation. A little tight pass from Kansas State and trying to save the set. We had a couple of whistles blown there. I'm not sure. We're just going to reset here. No, it wasn't that violation. So 21-18 now. Shoshesky dumps it over. What a dive from Kamoa to keep it up. Here's Gregorski on the right pin. There's Kimoa again. Shelton puts it away. The defense leading to offense, Nicole Brana. I mean, what a kill at the end, but I'm most impressed with those two awesome diving plays from Callie Kamoa throwing her hand out there, pancake, lifting it up high enough. And that's the thing for Oklahoma right now, keeping this ball defense is on point. Not one pancake, Sam, but two. She likes the stack, okay? <laughs> that's right. Just a little short stack, a uh, pancake uh, on that back row. Now, Kansas State is going to utilize a challenge here 
um, to try and determine whether or not uh, the hand got underneath. And they have confirmed that uh, it did not touch the floor. Now, to, to Jason Mansfield's credit here, you, you want to use a challenge? You, you might as well try yeah. and throw one out there, see if you can get one. That's right. Get a little break in the momentum. Have a few little comments with your team during the, the refs checking it out. Well, there's Shelton again laying out to keep the play alive. Out of system for Myers, though. Block there. Shelton. Wow. Head first dive in the back row from Carter. That's a lot of contacts there for Oklahoma. And Kansas State with a hustle point. And some nice defense here. Carter, look at that. One hand out, reaching for it, keeping it alive. A little ping pong on the side of Oklahoma. Too many touches there. Chamberlain, one hand set to Shelton. Okay. Now, Nicole, they just haven't really had an answer for Alexis Shelton on that left hand. Although, I'm not sure many people are going to have an answer for Alexis Shelton this year. I mean, they're getting some nice passes in system, wow. and Shelton with an athletic one-handed set just pushes that out. Excuse me, Chamberlain pushes that out to Shelton one-handed. Shelton gets just so high above the block. And she's not even hitting it through the block. She's going over. 22-19. Here's Myers. Kansas State with a side out. So back and forth we go, but Kansas State's going to have to put to, uh, together a couple of good offensive uh, possessions here on their side to try and get back in this match. And they need some strong serving right now. We know they're leading in the aces. They've got six. They're going to need to dial up some of those to disrupt this Oklahoma offense. But right there, as you can see, another nice pass set out to Shelton, put away. This has been the Alexis Shelton Show. 17 kills on 40 swings, eight digs as well, and four blocks. And Kansas State will utilize their final timeout as Oklahoma two points away from picking up a sweep. Jason Mansfield trying to talk it over here. Well, in the meantime, let's remind you of our two Monday night football matchups for you. The Jaguars are going to play the Bills at a special start time, 7.15 Eastern time, 4.15 Pacific on ESPN and ESPN Deportes. And then the Commanders taking on the Bengals, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ABC and ESPN+. Plus. I thought it was really interesting, too, Nicole. When we were talking to Jason, the stated but uh, when you finish with the record that they did and you have the momentum that they do going into this season, they schedule tough. It hasn't panned out as far as the record goes. And obviously a loss here doesn't help, but they have the pieces in place to have success this year. It's just about putting it all together. You look at the, the talent on this team with Aaliyah Carter, Meg Brown, getting her over from Pepperdine. It just hasn't panned out just yet, but. Uh, the season is still early, and like we said, they're still trying to make some changes. Here's our match summary. Oklahoma leads it two to nothing again. They are two points away from picking up a sweep. And like you said, Kansas State, they've got four fifth-year seniors, so they've yeah. got that urgency, the motivation, as you mentioned, being left out last year of that NCAA tournament. But I think tonight we've seen they've got some offensive weapons. It's the contacts and ball control, I think, that's been the difference here between the two. Gibson swing goes long. Kansas State cuts it to a two-point deficit. Right now, Carter number two in white for Kansas State in the front row still. This is a big point here. Shelton puts it away. And that there, I don't know if Kansas State didn't spot her in the back row, but they have been sort of setting her all night, front or back, when she's in the back row as well, and she can put the ball away. Match point for Oklahoma, 24-21. They'll have a couple of chances at it, too. Off the top of the tape, Larkin keeps it up. Shulsheski over to Carter. 
off that triple block, and it's down for a Kansas State point. And now Carter goes back to the service line. So right now, again, having that balance, you want a tough serve, but you want to give yourself a chance for defense here. All right, so Kansas State uh, will head to the benches as Aaron Mansfield uses a timeout. This is critical, critical time in matches. It always comes down you know, to these last couple of points. Can you close it out if you're Oklahoma? Do you have enough in the tank if you're Kansas State to try and force a fourth set? So let's talk this through here, Nicole. You got Carter going back to serve here, and Kansas State has been a bit aggressive in the service game. How do you want to play this for these next couple of points to try and get it 24 all? Well, you've got to serve tough from the service line, and yeah. I think that Kansas State has dialed up some aces six so far this match, but OU has been passing well. So yes. again, you can't just lob it over there right now because they've been setting, they've got all the weapons right now, middle, pin hitters, whatever, they've had success. So I would even say you don't have to go for your toughest, strongest attack. A tough serve means a good spot on the court. It could be a short serve. It's anything that can disrupt the offense of Oklahoma because they have been doing a nice job and siding out Sam at 68% so far. Wow. So they are having a high percentage here of when they get a serve, they're able to put it away on that first contact or get the return and capitalize. So you gotta bring some heat if you're Kansas State right now and backs against the wall. Make some great plays here to tie it up. Now or never for the Wildcats. Match point for Oklahoma. Carter sends it away. Chamberlain. Somehow kept up by LeGrand. And it's down. Kansas State brings it within one now. Still match point, though, for the Sooners. And that's the thing. you got to take one point at a time. One deep breath, and they have to keep their eye. Oklahoma, Shelton in the back rows. We know she can put it away just as well in the front. Chamberlain, where does she go with it? Tipped over by Gibson, kept up by LeGrand. Second contact, Larkin. Greg Gorski off the top of the block, kept up by OU. Gibson tips it up into the block of Kansas State. Gibson, a big swing off the block, and Oklahoma will win it in three. 25 to 23 in this third set. Man, all three sets were incredibly close. Nicole, 25-20 in the first, 25-21 in the second and 25 23 in the third now kansas state does have one more challenge here so they will use it might as well i i, I got to imagine they're going to be looking at the net here nicole because that swing was off the block Yeah, this is the thing. Sometimes you see matches that they're, you think they're over, but you pull out that green challenge card to take a look at something to, and you know Kansas State was gaining the momentum there with some nice plays. Uh, maybe you're looking at that antenna there, Nicole. That would be the only thing I yeah, could think of. Yeah, the antenna looks like it is shaking a little bit there on the screen. Now, you need clear and conclusive evidence to overturn a call. That will be the question. The call on the court was ruled it was clean. So off the block and out, and the point to Oklahoma. So the question becomes, do we see enough clear and conclusive evidence uh, from the replay to overturn it? And the call will stand. Oklahoma wins it in three. 25-23, and the hug from the brothers. Tons of respect from both sides. Obviously, we talked about the emotions uh, in this match. Uh, you know, from the brothers in Aaron and Jason. Now, Aaron swept his brother Jason last year, but it also sparked what turned out to be one of the greater stretches for Kansas State of the season down the back half. We'll see if it does spark something similar after this one.
Your final thoughts here, Nicole, on what was a uh, straight sweep for the Oklahoma Sooners. Well, I really liked what I saw from Oklahoma. Their block, very involved with their with the, um, the defense. Offensively, Shelton was the big winner tonight with 18 kills. But you know what? She wasn't alone. Camille Gibson stepped it up. Lydia Martin, Kerry Gessberger, they really mixed it around. Kansas State just needs a little bit more ball control and cleaning up their side when they get those dig opportunities in transition and be able to put the ball away. But they came out in set three a lot better than we saw in sets one and two. So keep your eye on Kansas State as I think they're going to turn things around and it's only up. No question about it. And two of the better coaches in the entire game in uh, Coach Jason Mansfield and Aaron Mansfield. Well, the leader in this match, no question about it, was Alexis Shelton. 18 kills on 42 swings. She also had nine digs and four blocks. What an incredible atmosphere in Kansas State, but Oklahoma able to overcome it and win it in three straight sets. For our entire crew, Alongside my partner, Nicole Branagh, I'm Sam Ravitch saying so long. Have a great rest of your weekend, everybody.